Hi, beloveds. Welcome back to my channel, Pin of the Beloved, the dwelling place for the creator. So, it's officially 2024, and I'm still processing how that happened. Because I still feel like 2023 just happened, and now it is no longer that year. But, this is my first vlog of the year, and I'm really excited because today my Peloton bike is coming, and I, I've been influenced by all of the beautiful ads I've seen. And so I officially got a Peloton bike, as well as like some other home workout equipment, because one of my goals is to be even more fit than I was last year. One of my goals last year was to dance more, which I did do. I took dance classes, signed up for an eight week ballet course, and it was really cool. And so I want to kind of continue bettering the ways I can be fit and enjoy fitness without always having to leave my house to do so. So I'm really excited about that. So hopefully within the next, actually within the next 30-ish minutes, my bike should be here. And I'm hoping that they assemble it because I thought that there was assembly included. So I'm hoping I don't have to assemble it myself because I don't want to. And then I will show you what that looks like. So my Peloton finally arrived. Oh, this turtleneck is so chunky. But my uh, Peloton finally arrived. It's right here behind me and it's so cute. Ouch, so. I have it in my room because this is pretty much where I will be working out. And so I have the activation code, but I haven't activated it yet, be activated it yet because the little click on shoes that go here haven't come yet, which I didn't realize that all of my other stuff would be shipping separately. But this is the bike and it's actually pretty sturdy. It's quite nice. I like it a lot. Today is January 31st. It is my first vlog of the year and today is also a tattoo day so i'm getting my third tattoo on my arm slash like upper arm not necessarily shoulder and so i'll be filming a little bit of that today and i'm still grant writing still novel writing and so yeah so this is the beginning of my 2024 vlogs we'll see how it goes because i haven't vlogged in about in about two months a month or so? No, actually I think in about two months I haven't made a video since my last tattoo vlog. So yeah, I'm excited. And I have a full day of work because my tattoo is not until like 6 p.m. tonight and so I'll be doing work up until then. And we will... So I'll see you guys at the tattoo time and place. <sighs> So, I'm getting ready to go to my tattoo appointment. Why is it blurry? Getting ready to go to my, to my tattoo appointment. So, this is my outfit. Excuse the mess in my bathroom. But I'm wearing this little cardigan thing so that there's easy access to my shoulder. Also, it's like 60, 70-ish degrees in Texas. So, it's not fully warm because the temperature is going to drop tonight. So, that's why I'm like wearing this because I don't want to walk out and then be freezing cold. So, yeah. Hopefully I can show you some more footage of the tattoo shop this time. Cause I said I was gonna do it last time and I didn't do, do too good of a job of that, but yeah. So today is February, let me see what day it is. What day is it? I actually don't know. February 5th. And so it has been four-ish full days since my tattoo appointment. So I took the plastic wrap off uh, Sunday because it had been about, about three days exactly. Exact, exactly. And so let me close my blinds so I can show you what it looks like. So this is the tattoo, it's peeling a little bit already. 
which is pretty cool. But this is like my, okay, I need some light. <laughs> but I'm peeling a little bit already. Oh my gosh, the lighting. And so this is what it looks like. This is the biggest tattoo I have so far, and I think it's so cute, and I cannot wait for it to heal. It's just so beautiful. Alrighty, so this is what the tattoo looks like. Let me focus, focus, focus. It's already peeling a little bit, but I just really want to point out some of my favorite details so far. I love a little flower on the hat. I love it so much. And then also she put hearts on the bandana and then there's like a heart in the middle of it as well and so this is it this is the tattoo <laughs> cool hopefully this is enough coffee beans because i didn't exactly count how much i was grinding so we're just camping our coffee comes down so for my creams i have a milk frother that came with the machine so I typically will put the little pitcher the milk pitcher in the freezer because I like for it to be extremely cold because when it's extremely cold I think it helps my milk froth better that's just me and so I typically use I'm a person that likes I like consistency in my espresso but not necessarily in my creams and my milks because I'm not always wanting the same thing so I been I've been using this um, Volman's uh, Family Farm Banana Cream Milk. I recently got this from uh, H-E-B, which if you're from Texas, you know what H-E-B is. I'm not originally from Texas, so H-E-B is, the magic of H-E-B is something I've learned as living as a Texan for the last couple of years or so. And if I'm not using whole milk or banana cream milk. I'm typically using cashew milk or oat milk. And if I'm not feeling either of those things, I tend to use half and half because half and half is very creamy. It's a nice texture to get you the nice full body that you typically want for your milk if you're using milk or cream in your coffee. And then I recently started using um, heavy whipping cream, which is kind of a consistent one for me. I tend to go to this every now and again because I had coffee one time with heavy whipping cream and it was actually really good. And so I'll switch um, between my milks like pretty consistently, pretty much almost all the time actually. I'm either heavy on the cashew milk for like a, a bit or the oat milk and then I'll go back to half and half. And like I don't typically, oh it's starting to itch, I don't typically um, care about fattening creams or whatever. I know people they stay away from dairy. I've learned that the better quality the dairy is, it doesn't really affect me as much, I don't think. Um, I do know some half and halves are not the best on my tummy, <laughs> so I try to interchange what milks I use every now and again. But this is such a random uh, part of my vlog because I typically don't talk about how I make coffee, but this is fun. I'm enjoying it, so yeah. It's time for the moment of truth here. So what you want is a pause, about eight seconds before it starts to extract your coffee. And then it's gonna kind of start. And you want a nice, creamy, thick, almost syrupy texture, which this is kind of. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. And there we go. And so we have our three layers here. You can see the darker layer the middle layer and then we have our crema right there and it's a pretty decent shot of espresso and that's coffee with pen of the beloved hi beloveds so today's february 6th and i haven't done much in the way of filming i did do a hip-hop class last night that i did not film and i was like oh that would have been a great moment to vlog what a week in my life is but Alas, I did not film it. I have footage of it. I may or may not show it because I didn't like... I liked the dance a lot, but I'm not picking up choreography as fast as I used to. And so one of my goals this year is to start memorizing choreography better. So yeah, but that was fun. And I didn't record it for, at least not on this camera, for YouTube. But anyways, I'm on here today to do another tattoo, like, update. So it was peeling a lot, like a lot yesterday. And I really disliked the peeling stage because it's kind of like, oh my gosh, what's happening? And so now it's like 
itching and peeling a little less than it was the day before but like yeah yeah I just really really dislike the healing phase of a tattoo I don't mind being tattooed I actually don't think it's that bad at least not in the places I've gotten tattooed because they don't hurt as much but the healing process it's like the most annoying thing like not even like the fact that it like there's pain or whatever to me it's simply the fact that the skin has to replace the barrier that has been broken through and you're watching it heal and then the moisturizing and the washing three times a day and then it starts to pill incredibly weirdly like this weird inked sunburn and then you're just like finally then it blossoms like a butterfly out of a cocoon and then you have a beautiful tattoo and so I'm just really excited for the moment that it stops itching and it stops peeling yeah so we're getting ready to have a work from the coffee shop today mm -hmm. and so this is this is my outfit wait ha ah, here we go it is her outfit excuse the mess in my bathroom <laughs> there we go yeah, it looks so cute look at us look at us <laughs> alas here we are with another writing montage video so one of the things I've been focusing more on in my grant writing journey is being faster at writing grants while also being more efficient. I've recently had a new client added to my list of people and organizations that I work with and that's been exciting to kind of jump into the world of editing grants and also being able to continue to help small nonprofits. I'm hoping for my next video I can delve more deeply into what grant writing is and kind of do more of a talking video to the camera instead of a vlog to explain what my process is and for those of you who are interested in grant writing give you some more details on what that looks like and also I have some really exciting news regarding my grant writing work and expertise and so I'm excited to share that with you and actually have you be a bit more involved in what I do and how I do it and how if you are interested in grant writing you can learn how to do it too. And for those of you who are interested let me know in the comments. I know on TikTok I've had a few people reach out and ask for more content on grant writing and how they can even be involved in learning how to do that and acquire that skill themselves. I honestly believe everyone can grant write. It is uh, very easy to learn. It does require a bit of, I don't want to use the word study because it's not that deep, but it does require just kind of learning how to do more long form writing, especially for people who are transitioning from copywriting or anything of that nature. It can essentially what I'm saying is that if you have any kind of background in writing, the skills are transferable. So you would be able to pick up how to do grant writing much more quickly and if you don't you can learn i think everyone can grant write apparently i am allergic to sanoderm and so i'm about 20 days in the healing process it looks amazing which was wonderful i've had a bit of an outbreak of a little bit of acne because i was over moisturizing because of the irritation to the sanoderm and so now all of that is is starting to dissipate but alas here we are and also I just cut my hair and so uh yeah that's where we are here currently I didn't I filmed it but I'm gonna make it into a TikTok instead of adding it to the YouTube video we'll see how it all goes but I've been wanting to cut my hair for a while because if you remember in my previous videos from about a year or two ago I had cut my hair and I had then I dyed it green which I loved and then I started trying to grow it back out with braids and then I got to the point where I was like, ooh, my hair is getting longer again, and I was like, I don't think I like it, and I didn't, and so I cut it again, and I love this so much so. So, yeah. This will conclude my January, February uh, vlog. Um, I have not filmed much of anything since the end of January, but I have some ideas and some wonderful things coming up for National Poetry Month in April. I'm going on vacation in March, so you may be getting a little bit of a nice tropical vlog there. 
but if you aren't subscribed to my channel take this opportunity to hit the subscribe button as well as sign up for my newsletters because I will be sending out amazing essays and some poems that you won't be seeing on my social media so you can sign up for that on my website at penofthebeloved.com but yeah until next time stay creative beloveds I will see you in another video